Welcome to the Tombs of the Kings. Your tour guide today is the Hawk, locally known as Shahini. The Tombs of the Kings is a large necropolis lying about two kilometers northwest of Paphos Harbor in Cyprus and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The underground tombs many of which date back to the 4th century BC, are carved out of solid rock and are thought to have been the burial sites of Paphitic aristocrats and high officials up to the 3rd century AD. The name comes from the magnificence of the tombs. No kings were actually buried there. Some of the tombs feature Doric columns and the frescoed walls. Indeed, archaeological excavations are still being carried out at the site. The tombs are cut into the native rock and at times imitated the houses of the living. Although the tombs have been known and casually explored for centuries, they were first subjected to systematic excavation in the later 1970s and the 1980s under the direction of Dr. Sophocles Hagisavas, former director of antiquities of the Republic of Cyprus. With the assistance from the Australian archaeological mission to Paphos, Dr. Hagisavas is preparing the findings for publication. Part of the importance of the tombs, he believes, lies in the Paphian habit of including Rhodian amphorae among the offerings in a burial. It is hoped that through the manufacturing stamps that are placed on the handles of these amphorae, it's possible to give them a date and through them the other material from the same burial. Thus, it is hoped to develop a more secure chronology for archaeological material in the Eastern Mediterranean of the Hellenistic and Early Roman periods.
It has been a privilege following the flight of the Shahini over several excavated tombs of the kings. The impressive open atrium and well-preserved underground tombs and chambers used by residents of near Paphos during the Hellenistic and Roman periods from the 3rd century BC to the 3rd century AD. The tranquility of this unique location is interrupted only by the sound of the crashing Mediterranean waves against the rocky shoreline. The desert-like terrain and colourful flora is indeed a worthy location for the aristocrats who occupied this amazing historical site known as the Tombs of the Kings. Until we meet again, F. Gaddestone.